Hello, everybody. This is Kyrex with another edition of This Week in Kyrex. Eh. Sorry. This is for the week of April 4th, 2018. This is being recorded on Friday, April 6th of 2018. As you can tell, this is a new version of my city. Because why the fuck not at this point? It's not like I got anything else going on. See so yeah, how quite a bit has actually happened this week. Oops, I fucked those up. Smoosh. There we go. Nothing's been fully finalized yet, but in the very near future, I might have a new channel with some friends. Because we, uh, you may notice that, uh, on my channel there's currently a shout-out page for, uh, a channel called Diecast, or no, uh, Matchwheels Diecast. And for those who don't know, this is a friend's channel. He uh, contacted me more or less out of the blue. I haven't really spoken to him in about a year. Which isn't a big deal. You know, people don't talk sometimes for quite a while. But he also contacted a couple friends of mine and his. They're not just my friends. They were also, well, were. They also are his friends. And, uh... Anyway, we all used to hang out back in the day, and we haven't really spoken to each other much in a very long time. <clears throat> but nonetheless, um, we just got and someone, I forget who, broached the subject of, hey, we should get a big collab channel up. And, you know, I'm always up for collabs and such. But, uh. Alright, let's, uh. God damn it. Let's fire up this city and see what we got. <clears throat> and we're going through some ideas for it. But, like I said, nothing's been finalized yet. We don't have. Well, I think we've settled on a name, but I'm not gonna mention it just yet because again nothing is finalized yet and I don't feel like jumping the gun here So, let's talk uh, Pokemon. We have some sad news in that, well, bittersweet news, let's call it that. One of our players, one of our, uh, friend of mine there, uh, might not be coming to Pokemon anymore because he might very well have a job that uh, takes up that time slot. So, I'm kind of in a weird position on the one hand. I really want him to stick around, but on the other hand, I really don't want to fuck him out of that job either. So do you root him on, or do you just say, hope <laughs> you don't get it? No. Um, with any luck, this job will be a very big deal for him. And I hope it does well for him. Um, yeah. Uh, as for the tournament itself, I swept it pretty fucking handily. Uh, <clears throat> turns out my team was just spot on for what was needed. I think, uh, for most of my opponents, I only needed two of them, really. Which isn't to say that any everyone else just did really shitty, it's, uh, it's that I just... Well, my first opponent had the misfortune of 
having a team of almost entirely made of physical attackers. And my second Pokemon was Gigalith. And for those who don't know, Gigalith is quite literally a brick wall that he just slammed into full force, you know. So it really wasn't a whole hell of a lot he could have done. Gigalith's known for being just this brick wall of a Pokemon that you just... Yeah. Just good luck with that, hitting him physically. I mean, even shit he's weak to just kind of bounces right off him. <clears throat> so... So when he comes at me with just this whole team of physicals, I'm like, ha 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 ha, no. You know. And it just didn't end too well for him. Plus on top of that, my first Pokemon was Garbodor, or Garbodor, whichever way you want to pronounce it. <clears throat> and that little beastie just completely cut loose. I had uh, poison spikes on him, and Gigalith had uh, stealth rocks, so basically I trapped the field. And any Pokemon player knows that when you trap the field, you're pretty much saying, yeah, I don't give two shits, you're not getting anything done today. You know. When someone hits a fully trapped field, uh, they come out of it <coughs> basically half dead from the start. Like, for example, one of the Pokemon I used was Volcarona. Maya, shush. And Volcarona is a bug fire type. Another example is Charizard or Moltres, which are both fire flying types. Stealth Rocks by itself on Charizard, Moltres, or Volcarona takes them down to half hit points as soon as they hit the field before anything else is done. So that right there, uh, if someone, if you have Stealth Rocks out, they send out a Charizard, Charizard hits you and you use Red Card, which kicks them out of the field, then they are guaranteed to die the minute they hit the field again. That's just how Stealth Rocks works. So, in reality, my team did half the fighting, or my, my traps did half the fighting for me. You know what I mean? So, that's just the thing that happened. You know, and it's not, it's neither here nor there. I'm, I'm surprised that for as long as I've been playing there, nobody uses Rapid Spin. For those who don't know, um, Rapid Spin is a move that clears Spikes, Toxic Spikes, and Stealth Rock off the field. Off your opponent's side of the field, but not yours. Meaning, if you laid traps, your traps stay, but their traps go away. Whereas Defog, which is another move, gets rid of everyone's traps. Living next to the zoo sounds fun, but the, the elephants probably keep me up at night. There we go. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm honestly surprised that nobody at Pokemon League fucking rocks Rapid Spin, except me! 
which is kind of pointless because no one but me really rocks traps. I mean, occasionally someone will throw out stealth rocks, but no one, as a matter of course, includes a field trapper of some sort on their team there. Which is good news for me, because that means I don't have to deal with that shit, but it just confuses me, because I know they know the strat, they've seen me use it a thousand times. And uh, one of our players is known for having a trade addiction. I may have talked about him before. And uh, we actually brought him up at the end of League. Uh, basically, I was giving out the prize and helping uh, one of the girls get a Pokemon she wanted for the next Little Cup. Because we always do Little Cup afterwards. And... Uh, she brought up, oh yeah, he's the one who's always talking shit about us, and I'm not surprised to hear that at all. I didn't know it, but it doesn't surprise me, because the problem with him is, as I said, he's got a real serious fucking trade addiction. He just will go out, he has to trade. If he doesn't trade every league, he gets really fucking antsy. And the problem is, he's not doing what I do in building up the Pokedex, he just... He's just a trade. He he wants to fucking trade all the time. And to him, that's how he builds his force. And the problem with that is, you really can't do that with Pokemon. You need to have, um... You need to have your own shit. You know, you need to build your own teams. And he doesn't do that. He just trades. Like, oh, that's a good Pokemon. Will you trade it? No. Why would I trade this good Pokemon? Do you have any idea how much effort I put into making this good Pokemon? You know? I mean, I have a really good trade setup, so it doesn't take a lot of effort for me to make some of these five IV Pokemon. But when I started out, um, my Venomoth, which is the very first Pokemon I ever evolved, or not evolved, but bred competitively with five IVs, that fucker probably took a week of prep time just to get him and we're not even going to talk about how long it took to get him level 100, because I stopped him at 50. Level, one hap level 100 happened years later, and it took about a week. I mean, I've streamlined the process now to the point where I can more or less get a Pokemon to level 100 in under a week. But that's still... That, getting that set up with all the, the fucking lucky eggs and shit took me the better part of three weeks. And the thing is, if the kid just asks, I would either teach him myself or direct him to resources to help him become a competitive breeder. The way I do things, you know. I mean, it's not very complicated at all to do such a thing. He just doesn't want to put the effort in. And then he complains that we're all too OP. I'm like, yeah, we're too OP. We actually put effort into our Pokemon instead of just hopping on the fucking Wonder Trade and battling with what we got, you know? Mm, let's do the casino. It'll bring in more uh, revenue right now. Let's we'll keep taxes low. Yeah, yeah, fuck off. And, I mean, I understand when I was a kid, I didn't want to do a lot of shit. Like, I had a friend who basically would ask me to raise his Pokemon. I'm like, no, you raise your Pokemon. That's the point. The point of Pokemon is raise your own shit. You know? It just kind of fundamentally misses the point there. And I mean, I can understand that to an extent. It's just kind of sad to see. Because, I mean, it's not like me and the others who are really good just happen to be good. I mean, uh, the guy who's getting the job, who generally tracks our tournaments, which means one of us is going to have to start doing it now, 
he has literally a team for every type of Pokemon. I didn't even have that. You know, it's like, oh, would you like a team of six fire types? Okay, fight this. Six bug types? Sure, let's fight this. Six fairy types? I've got this, you know. I don't even have anything like that. So, yeah, that's a thing. Um, by the way, uh, the next tournament is going to be all legendaries. That should be interesting. I don't know yet if it's good interesting or bad interesting, but it's interesting. You know? Here's a casino. And here's a bank. And that is the perfect place to put them both. You know? That's nice, don't care. Nope, I did that wrong. Yeah, don't care. So yeah, we've got that new channel looming on the horizon that will hopefully go well. Uh, it's going to be a real mishmash of things. Like, uh, our first video will probably be recorded Monday, which will likely be a Cards Against Humanity game where we just, you know, bullshit and network together. Uh, then we've got, uh, you know, just other things. We've got uh, our own little segments we all plan to do. And I, I know, for the most part, my shit's going to be reviews. But, I mean, I asked, like, are we going to do big group collabs? Or are we doing, like, uh, solo shit or a mix thereof? And in the case of collabs, is it going to be, oh, we do one thing as a group? Or, like, my thing is with one person in particular and I do something different with someone else you know that kind of thing so what I'm probably gonna do is just me and whatever schmucks get dragged into it are gonna do reviews and we actually had quite the little debate which I won't get into because you know that's our business I won't like I said I'm not gonna bring up the details I'm not gonna bring up who won even but we had a debate stemming around the worst Godzilla movie I ever made. And <clears throat> I intend to review that movie first, so. And the funny thing is, the casuals are going to say one movie, and the people who've actually seen all the Godzilla movies are going to say something completely different. <clears throat> but, um... Yeah, so we're, we're going to see what comes of it. Because I'm not going to do a whole lot of video game stuff unless it's collabs with my friends, because I have a channel for doing video game stuff. And the idea behind this isn't so much to abandon our channels, the two of us who have them, but to do something together, build a separate channel, and pimp our own channels on the side. You know, uh, As I put it, kind of like how the Runaway Guys do things. Where the Runaway Guys have a channel... But Chuck Conroy, Nintendo Capri Sun, and Proton John also have channels. So you will see uh, links to our collabs and to my own shit on my channel. Like, I will put them in a playlist. Like, hey, here's my segment from this. Here's this person's segment from this. Here's this person. Here's this person. And here's our collabs. You know? So, uh... So, I mean, you can come just to my channel and see shit from the from our channel there. And it will be labeled, so you're not just going to, Oh, I'm here for video games. Oh, my God, why is there Cards Against Humanity? You know? 
Oh shit, why is this guy teaching me how to make a pizza? That was uh, the joke. One of our friends, uh, <clears throat> when he was living in Florida, because he moved to Kansas. I think he's back in Florida, or at least he was. Now he's talking about he has to come back to Florida, something, and where the hell are you, dude? But he used to work for Pizza Hut. And that would be the end of it 99% of the time. But everyone in his family has at some point worked for Pizza Hut. And it was joked that his sister, when she came of job age, would also work for Pizza Hut. You know, and they were all managers. Like, his sister was a manager. His older sister. His mother was a manager. He was a manager. So we just started calling them the Pizza Hut Mafia. <laughs> You know, the jokes just kind of fucking write themselves. It's just dumb shit. No one took it seriously, but it was a lot of fun. And so, of course, one of the one of my friends mentioned that he could teach people how to make pizzas on the channel. And he's like, well, I do make a good pizza. <laughs> so I don't know what the hell. I don't know what the hell any of the other three are going to do. Because uh, we're still... The channel might not happen. I think it will. Because I don't think our little argument turned anyone off for the channel. Because we did this shit when we were in person, too. But it's just a matter of getting shit done. And plus, two of them are on phones. Which didn't stop one of them from having his own channel. But, I mean, it limits what he can do. Like, uh, the tabletop simulator shit that I want to pull off. Like, us playing D&D &D together. Us playing card games together. Us playing board games together really can't happen until both of them have some kind of a mildly decent computer. You know, I mean, mine's like six years out of date, but it still runs tabletop. So, uh, yeah, it's just a matter of path forward of getting everything together, getting us all together, getting the channel actually physically up. And then deciding who's going to do what, you know. Uh, for example, we don't even know who's going to be starting the channel. You know, will it be me? Will it be him? Will it be one of the other two? You know, so it could it could go in any direction at this point. And no one could be even begin to know. So, let's uh, rotate these now. And then once it's done, do we all have the password, or do we just give them to one person to do the uploads? Are we doing a schedule, or is it just do it when you do it, you know? I mean, there's all manner of things that need to be seen, to. Not that. That. Fuck it, 10% taxes, that seemed to work last time. But yeah, that, that's exciting news for me, because it mixes shit up. It's more than just, oh, I got my channel, derp da derp da derp you know. There's all manner of fun shit that can come of this, and I hope it will. Alright, this is a little more orderly, but I'm not really a super huge fan of how things are turning out in my city here. I might just look for a new game after this. I don't know. Oh, shit. Fire department ain't funded for crap. Yeah, this city kind of kind of bites a dick. Yeah, we're not keeping this one. 20% taxes, and you'll love it. Watch, everyone's going to fucking disappear now.
Oh my god, even at 20% taxes, there's so much bullshit. Yeah, this city's a goddamn wash. I can't even fund my fire department. Yeah, we're just... This city's done. This city's fucking done. This is a stupid build setup. I like my old one better. In fact... Let's go to a city and keep it fucking budget balanced. Not that there's anything more to do here, mind you, but it's a start. It'll at least round out the episode, you know. Why are... Okay, I about to say, why is everything, you know, out of power, allegedly? I have, like, four different places. There's one, there's two... Three. I know I had three. Oh, yep, there is four. But I could have sworn I had four stadiums. No more roads required. Roads just cause problems. We established that in the last attempt at a city. So, um, yeah, me and my friend uh, got together and played some X-Wing last night. That was pretty cool. And uh, it went pretty well. Each time we play, we're learning more of the rules, and he's starting to put together his own team, so that's cool. And we'll see what, what comes of this. Uh, once this is done, I've actually got to throw together an attempt at a team. So, we'll see. We'll see what becomes of it. Really? Did I not? Oh, I spaced it wrong, that's why. That would absolutely do it, wouldn't it? One more time. There we go. Correct spacing is very important. I know you're not supposed to put industry next to residential, but I don't give a shit. If I knew what the hell I was doing, my cities would turn out a whole lot better than this. God, I wish I could zoom out. Now, fast forward. So that's how you grow your residential areas. Look at them go. And I'm still uh, almost making a profit here. Let's jump up to six and we'll have a profit again. So uh, other than that, we did uh, we finished up some recording last Monday and Tuesday with uh, Eisen. Uh, looks like my uh, power plant needs replaced or added to. I could do that. So um, 
again, still not going to mention what games we worked on and what games we didn't, but uh, we've added a new game to the mix, which we haven't really started yet. Uh, and I have, for a next project, I have been working on one of the games that we quote-unquote finished so that I could work on the new game plus mode. Because they have one of those, you know. And, uh, the new game plus mode just, it, it's fun. Probably. I haven't really played it myself. But, uh, there's a lot of prep work involved. You know, because it's... Oh good, we got one of those going on. Cool. Oh, that's money for days right there. That's exactly what I thought. Don't give me that bullshit about not having power. I just put another fucking plant there. I don't know what their problem is. I have redundant power lines all over the goddamn city. I think there's been one case ever where one of these disasters did anything harmful to us. And in hindsight, that might not even have happened. Back down to 5%. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. No word on the jobs yet. I'm probably going to get into contact with them again shortly. See what's what. Hopefully it'll be good news. Um, good news is something I could really go for right about now. So, yeah. We'll, we'll see what comes of things. Anyway, I'm more or less out of shit to talk about. So, we're going to call it here. Bye-bye, everybody.